So how many of you remember last year when Pastor Greg Locke here in Tennessee smashed that Barbie dream house trying to prove a point? Well, I correct myself. Hold on. Let me get this right. He gets really upset if you don't get it right. It wasn't a Barbie dream house. It was some Walmart knockoff. I remember back then, I did a couple of videos about it. The Tennessee Holler shared one of them where I called it a Barbie dream house. And he immediately came out and said, I'm tired of hearing these people calling it a Barbie dream house. It was some Walmart knockoff. Well, I don't know exactly where he got it, but I do know that he smashed the roof in. And now here we are in 2024 and his tent is collapsing due to snow. The roof to his tent is falling in due to snow. Now, if I believed in karma, I would be laughing a whole lot harder than I am right now. But I don't believe in karma and I'm gonna tell you why. I don't think the universe gives a damn about Greg Locke and I don't think the universe gives a damn about none of us. I think good things happens to good people Bad things happens to good people. Good things happens to bad people, and bad things happen to bad people. It just all boils down to how we want to assign the karma. The universe, if, if, you, if you do something bad today and stub your toe next week, that wasn't a universe trying to get you back. I, I don't believe in that. You know, if I was to walk out my steps right now, I mean, we got about eight inches of snow here. I'm snowed in. But if I walk down my icy steps and I fell and broke my leg, I know my mom and my kids and my friends and people on here who likes what I do, they would all be really upset. They'd be going, oh, no. Oh, Brando got hurt. We really hate that. Some people may even throw up some thoughts and prayers. But then if I fell down those steps, there's a whole lot of people who hates my guts and they would all be like, hey, that liberal got what he deserves. That one time he cussed me, he got what he deserved. I just don't believe in karma that way. But if I did, I would definitely be laughing right now harder at Greg Locke. And I wonder how Greg Locke would feel if he suddenly heard people like me just start saying that that was God trying to punish him. That that was God trying to punish him and his church. I mean, that was, you, you got it wrong somewhere, Greg. You said something you shouldn't have said on that pulpit, and that's why your roof is falling in. I bet he would never accept it. I bet he would never entertain the idea. But I bet you money, if it was a group of people under that tent he didn't agree with, I mean, if that was a tent with a bunch of gay men congregated under it, I have a feeling Greg Locke would be on his pulpit saying, that's what you get. That's what you get. God's trying to get your attention. But whenever it's him, he could never entertain that idea. And I always think that's one of the most arrogant belief systems that people could have. That anytime something bad happens in your life, it must just be a test. And everybody pray for me. But if it's somebody I disagree with, you got what you deserved. God is punishing you for what you did to me. Why would God look down on the universe and just pick out some random person in some random town and go, hey, I am going to cause this guy to trip and fall because he sent a fuck you text to this dude over here. I'm going to do that to get back at him. <laughs> Why would God or the universe care one way or the other? I have done a whole lot of soul searching in my lifetime. I have read every religious text that I could get my hands on. I have watched every kind of documentary, every kind of movie. I've tried so hard to entertain all the different possibilities. I have listened to people sit and lecture for hours upon hours and soaked in all that knowledge that I could soak in. And at the end of the day, do you want to know the honest conclusion that I've came to? I think old Forrest Gump had it right. Shit happens sometimes. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And so shit has happened to Greg Locke. I'm sure he would never entertain the idea that God's trying to get his attention. But no, I'm not going to give him enough credit to think that the universe or God gives a flying damn about him one way or the other.